Hello everybody and welcome back to Hearthstone. Oh my goodness. I was just thinking, you know, I was getting everything set up because I don't know if you've ever made a video before, but the thing is you've got like a zillion programs that you need to have up and then you need to click this and click that. And I just had the game running in the background while I was doing all this and I was listening to the music and I was thinking, I like this music. It's very like, it's sort of catchy and it's sort of like, yeah, you know, we're going to go and play some friendly games, it's just gonna, just gonna have a good time, and it's just, I really like it, I think it really fits the game quite well, I just thought it was great. But on another note, ooh, let me tell you a, a story about, about this music, wow. Okay, so, uh, before we jump into this video, let's just go through me being a complete and total idiot. Now, what I did was, I, I finished making the last two videos, and then I, I went and listened to them, made sure everything was okay, and... Wow, the music was just completely overriding my voice so totally, there was just like no way I could fix it. Oh, I was so angry, I was ranting, I was raving, I was throwing out words that would make your skin go pale and just crawl and, and sort of run off your body just trying to get away from those horrible words that I was saying. And then, um, I was really angry. In fact, I wasn't even angry, I was furious. I was so mad. And then um, I calmed down a little bit and I went back to it and then I facepalmed because... There was nothing wrong with the recording. What I was hearing was the sound of the music of the game that was still running in the background. And I was just like, wow, okay. Newest, newest, really, really dumb, so dumb moment. Just massively dumb moment. So, uh, I have got three booster packs out of doing like the arenas and, and getting gold and just playing games and completing quests and all that kind of stuff. And we're going to go and open those and have a look at those. And then we are going to have a look at some of the other stuff I've gone and done and have a look at the other aspects of the game. And then maybe we'll do some arenas, because the arenas, I've done one so far, I just kind of wanted to know how it was going to work before I did a video on it, and wow, it was, it's the most fun game mode ever, and it reminds me of one of my favorite game modes of Magic the Gathering, which I just, I loved. Uh, so let's go and let's open some packs. Packs, 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 come on, open up, open up, what do you have over there, Mr. Hearthstone? So we've got three booster packs, and let's open one of these up, what's going to happen, what's going to be inside, what cards will we get? So we've got four cards. We have a Leper Gnome. Deal two damage to the enemy hero when it's summoned up. Not bad. Give a friendly minion plus four plus four. Oh, is this rare? Give a friendly minion plus four plus four until end of turn. Then it dies horribly. Power overwhelming. Oh, that is so cool. So that is for Warlock. Um, that is sort of whatever. Uh, anything. And then we've got Cone of Cold for Mage. Freeze a minion and the minions next to it and then deal one damage to them. So I kind of... I, I'm finding it a little bit difficult to tell what quality they are. I'm thinking that this sort of crystal looking thing in the center over here, I'm thinking that when that is white then that must be like a common card. That's what I'm going with. Oh! Yes, I'm totally right. So we've got a rare now. We have the very first rare ever because everything else I have is totally common. Bite. Give your hero plus four attack this turn and four armor. Nice. Okay, let's go and... That's for Druid. And let's open a second booster pack and see what's inside. Kapow! That's just the coolest opening ever. We have another Cone of Cold. We have an Inner Rage. And we have an Abusive Sergeant. What's in that one? Oh, it's an epic! For an epic rogue. That is fantastic. Combo, return a minion to its owner's hand. I'm not sure. How, what is combo? A bonus if you already played a card this time. Wow. Okay, so that's that would be quite a late game thing then. And what's this one? That is another common. Destroy a random enemy minion with deadly shot. Love how it's just like... Look at the size of that arrow! Wow! What fired that? Godzilla? Godzilla's taken up archery. Beware, world. Um, that was that's just terrible. And we've got a final booster pack over here. What's inside this one? And we have an Argent Protector. And we've got a rare for Rogue. Destroy your weapon and deal its damage to all and Oh, nice. Deadly shot. Destroy a random enemy minion. Okay. And this one, Power Overwhelming again for Warlock. And we've got Cone of Cold. Fantastic, so we've got a whole bunch of these things. Now, I've just, I've been thinking about something that I kind of want to, to now, um, to clarify. 
if I can just find one where it says maybe times three, because I see now that it says times two, and I was originally thinking that you could not have duplicates in this, but if you have duplicates, that is extremely important. So I just want to find if I can see uh, like a, a times three somewhere. We don't seem to have a times three of every, anything. It might be this one, though. There might be something. Um, come on, there's got to be something here with times three. Come on. Please, that there is something with times three. You got to, you got to do that, please. Or does nothing have that? Okay, so now it's time to see if we can do something else. We're going to do a new deck. It's going to be a uh, rogue, I guess, because whatever. I just want to test something. So we only have one of these cards. Can we have two of them in a deck? No, no, we can't. Okay. So can we have duplicates then? Because that was something I, I haven't seen. I don't think I have any duplicates yet. Or at least none that I've seen. So that's something we're going to have to find out at some stage. Do you eventually reach a level where it's just like times three? Which, uh, it's very interesting. Anyway, uh, just, just take that off and let's get out of here. I'm done. Nope. That's crafting mode. We'll look at that in another video. How do I get, get out of here? Uh, no. Just go away. I, I swear if it deleted all the cards in that, that would really piss me off. But that should be fine. Okay, so I've got, and um, I went into practice. Let's really get the video going now. I went into practice, and I unlocked every single one of the heroes by playing and defeating the AI. And um, then I played against some, some opponents over there in the play. So that is what we're going to do in this episode. We're going to go and play against an opponent and just get our faces handed to us because some of them have like the cards that are just way overpowered some of them just like whoa i ran across this this weird sort of shaman wind creature that was a it cost like one mana and it did six damage to me per turn it was kind of insane um and we've got unranked mode and uh ranked mode i don't i haven't tried ranked mode yet Okay, well, let's ju let's try out rank mode, I guess. If we're going to do that, why not? Let's just go and public hum publicly humiliate ourselves, not only by getting our rank totally stamped upon, but um, by making sure that we do a video of it so that thousands of people can see me completely humiliating myself. It should be fantastic. Uh, I have got very few cards, and I'm just going to go with the basic deck because the custom deck I made was just me fooling around a little bit. It's not... it, it doesn't work right. Like, not even close to working properly, so... You know, we're just gonna go and uh, have some fun, play a game against a real human being, because AI are just, like, they're so dumb. Uh, one of the things I was doing when I was looking through one of my playthroughs, like, with that Illidan fight, Illidan was just being, like, a total moron. Ooh, it's lagging. Uh, come on, it's, it's graphics lagging. Oh, there we go. It always selects worthy opponent, but if you read some of the other options, they're quite funny, like your guild master and hogger and stuff. Hello, Garrosh Hellscream. I go first. I'm kind of nervous about just getting rid of anything because then I'll just get something worse. So, you know what? I'm just, I'll, I'll just keep it. Just gonna keep it and hopefully I'll draw another card that maybe will let me play in this turn or next turn. Let's have a look. What am I gonna draw? Okay, not not the best. Not the best. And you can right click on your, your portrait hello. and say like hello and stuff and be like well mannered and everything. You can't talk to them unless you, they're your friend at the moment. There doesn't seem to be um, a, a chat facility. And, you know, I think that might actually be a good idea. Because you can only speak in emotes at the moment. And I kind of like that. Because, you know, it, it just means that you don't get people ruining the fun of your game by just being total jerks. You know? And, and that's kind of a nice thing. Anyway, we've just got Garrosh punching us in the face for 26 damage. And now we can summon a Blood Ven Raptor who's just come out of Stranglethorn. You know, he was vacationing there, getting all, all strengthening up for this fight. Come on, Garrosh, bring it on! Um, though it's not Garrosh, I'm playing against a human being. So, human being, bring it on! His name is Ingvarthor. Ingvarthor. Hello, Ingvarthor. It's over there in the top left. Over there, and it's my turn. He's got a Crocolisk. I have a Balderfist Ogre. And, uh... What am I going to do? I think I will summon a Wolf Rider. And then I'm going to attack you, Mr. Human Being. There we go. Come on. Yeah! And turn. Fantastic. And something else is you can actually interact with the map. 
over here. So you can like destroy these things in the bottom and then you can make them grow again and then you can destroy them again. There's a gong that you can click and you can like... Oh damn, he just killed both of them. That was nice, that's a very good ability. But you can like click everything here, it's pretty cool. Um, I could fireball him I guess. Maybe I'll fireball him. Hmm. I'm gonna go with this guy. Did he even attack me? I think he must have. He must have attacked me. If he didn't attack me, that would have just been silly. And I, d I don't think he did that. He must have attacked me. Because human beings, they're, they're much better than the AI, and the AI probably wouldn't have attacked me. I wasn't paying attention, I was busy fiddling with the map and just being a, a general nuisance. Ow. <laughs> Whirlwind. Armor up, he's gaining two armor. Uh, and then, you're gonna attack me? Did he... Did he attack me? He doesn't seem to be attacking me. Why aren't you attacking me? Um, he definitely did not attack me that turn. Uh, I can't tell him to attack. He might just, you know, this might be like his first game, in which case, you know, I, I can't tell him, man, you need to attack. Because he just, you know, it's like his first game, he just doesn't know. Um, either that or he's just like a master strategist and he's just got like everything so planned out that it's just so far beyond what I could know is about to happen, and I'm just about to get completely and thoroughly owned, but I don't expect that. I, I find it very strange that he wasn't attacking. So what's going to go on now? What are you going to do? Oh, nice. No, don't attack that. You want to attack me? Yeah, attack me. That's a good move. Because if you attack my Murloc, then you'd, your hero would take damage, and it would just it would be kind of redundant. That was also... I'm not sure whether that was silly or not. I'm not quite sure how this game works yet to be able to really judge whether something is just being uh, uh, just a terrible, terrible move. So we've got a Boulder Fist Ogre up, which should be relatively hard to kill because it's got 7 health, it's got 6 damage because it's an ogre. It's got that damage. Oh, nice. A uh, 5 2 with charge. Don't attack it. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? That was. No, that was foolish. It's terribly foolish. Maybe he's just scared of it and he wants to get it out of the way. Um, I don't know. That's the trouble with this game. It's just like the, the moves, the, the way it works, the moves just sort of confuse me a little bit. All right. So I think what I'm going to do, I want to summon a Senjin Shield Master, and then probably a River Crocolis. And then I shall end my turn, noble warrior, that I face an honorable combat in a card game. Because why can't card games be honorable? There's nothing wrong with that. We've got a Corcoran Elite with charge. That is seriously awesome. I am so glad I played my Shield Master. Because you can't attack anything except my Shield Master until you kill it, buddy. Yeah, Taunt is just... It's, it's amazing. I love Taunt. Taunt is fantastic. Because tanks are overpowered. Oh, well, now he's dead. My, my poor little... My poor little taunt guy. He's dead. I'll miss him. I'll miss my taunt guy. Alrighty, so now we've got... We can summon a raid leader, and we can throw a fireball into his face. Or we could just draw two cards. Let's draw two cards. We've got another shield master, and a murloc guy. So, I am going to go with raid leader. And Murloc guy. And then I'm going to attack. Hoja! Because Raid Leader is just so fantastic. You know, what what would you do without your Raid Leader in uh, in raids? You just you wouldn't be able to do that extra deep yes. You know, he, he powers everybody. It's just a fantastic guy, that raid leader. It's just absolutely fantastic. And apparently orcs make the best raid leaders. They just they just do. They're just like they're fantastic for it, you know? They've got like that um a strange shouting orc cry or something yeah. gives it to them. Alrighty, I have got to see what these things do. So this thing, if I kill it, summons a 2-1 damaged golem. Okay. Oh, I can polymorph it, and that should actually get rid of its ability. Or I could just polymorph the really damaging yeti thing. Or I could just kill him, if that's possible. Do I have the damage to kill? I've got four damage. Yeah, I can kill him. Let's kill him. Sorry, buddy. And then I should fireball you. Because I've been saving that for so long, and fireball is overpowered. 
It's just so, it's so awesome. I love Fireball. I can't really say whether it's overpowered or not, but it is good. It, it is fantastic. That and Polymorph. The best thing is when they go ahead and they put down like a, like a thing with Taunt or something with a really intense ability that is just going to mess you up big time. You Polymorph it, and then the ability's gone. No Taunt, nothing. It's just a 1-1 one -one Sheep. A very vicious 1-1 one -one Sheep, but a 1-1 but a one -one Sheep all the same. So shall we play another game? Let's go and have a look. You don't actually seem to get anything when you when you win or lose. You don't actually get anything, which I am quite unhappy about. I would like to get like a little bit of gold for every victory and a little bit less for every loss. You know, that's just I think that would be kind of nice. At the moment, pretty much if you want to win, you, you've got to invest a huge amount of money, which I'm just not prepared to do. Okay, so shall we play another game? Let's see how far we can get this medal up. Go, basic Jaina deck. You can do it. I have the ultimate faith in you. The ultimate faith is invested in you. It looks kind of like a slot machine, doesn't it? Um, I, you should, somewhat, seriously, you should like maybe pause the video, have a look at some of those. Your guild leader, really slow guy, a mopey mage. Look at some of those things. Just like pause the video, have a little bit of a browse at it. Some of them are pretty awesome. It's a mirror match! Uh, they should be a lot more difficult than that previous guy. We've got... Hmm. I'm going to get rid of this one. See what I can get instead of that. I should actually replace that at some stage, maybe. Eh. Yeah, I, I can't. <laughs> I can't do anything. Please, end your turn. You can like destroy these crates and stuff. And you can open the indoor and close it and stuff. Wiggle the sign a bit, turn the lamp on and off. Can you open the door? Oh, I broke the window! I broke the window! I'm sorry I broke the window. Mirror image, nice! That is very cool. And now I've got a novice engineer, which is what I will be going with. A novice engineer, draw a card. What card am I going to get? Another arcane explosion, so I can actually take out both of those uh, very soon. Just play those both at the same time. Annihilate everything! And I would pronounce this noble warrior that we are facing his name, but I cannot pronounce like a single... There is no, like, no letter in that can I really pronounce. I think that even the A and the H probably sound different in that. Um, nice. That Ray leader was like a really good move. This guy's good. We're gonna get owned because he's good and he knows what he's doing and our, our deck just is terrible. So... I feel if we play anything other than Arcane Explosion, we're going to lose, so we're going to have to go with Arcane Explosion. I'd have liked to have killed the Raylier at the same time, but what can you do? You've got... I just had to take those out. I could have gone with the Wolf Rider and attacked, what, the Taunted Things and killed my Wolf Rider instantly? That would have sucked. What is that? Why is it golden? It's like all goldenish. That thing looks amazing. Okay, what can I do? Can I polymorph it? I shall polymorph it. I'm very much in behind trying to just counter what he's doing. He's so far ahead of me at this stage. How is he so powerful? I don't understand it. Why does he have like that special cool looking frame? Is he like a legendary sheep now? Is that a legendary card? What is that? I don't know what it is. That is a very powerful and vicious sheep. I'm getting totally thrashed. Come on. I, I can still do this. I've got this. Don't lose faith. Uh, what's he going to do? Ow. Never mind. Lose faith. We're, we're dead. It's so over. I've got 18 health. He's got 30 health still. I, I haven't touched him. Um, so, what I'm thinking is... Arcane Explosion. Into a Wolf Rider. And attack. Kapow. Just needed to just start doing some damage and go on the offensive. I imagine that this is going to annihilate some stuff now. Uh, but, you know, I had to, at least I've done some damage to him. If he heals back up, I'm just going to be so angry. Just so mad. You know? Well, what are you going to do? Okay, you like you've, you've, you've drawn a card. What else are you going to do? Oh, no. That, 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 that's it. It's dead. Okay, you've just frostbolted it into oblivion. My, my poor little charge guy. He's so dead. Okay, okay, okay. Now what am I going to do? I can play a guy with taunt. 
Or I could fireball him. My or I can... He's threatening me! I don't believe this guy! He's actually threatening me! Wow! That is... You're, that's not nice. I'm not feeling the... The love, I guess. Or, or whatever. Yeah, let's just hit you. Boom. Yeah! How's that for really powerful magic? I did one damage to you. Mmm, what you gonna do now? <laughs> this is fantastic. What are these things? Is that like an elite? What is this? Are these legend- just please tell me I'm not fighting against like a guy with legendary cards because that is just ridiculous. This is insane. These- th that's definitely a legendary. I am telling you right now that's a legendary. I have no idea. How do you have legendaries? <laughs> uh, if I win against this guy, he, he should feel ashamed. Uh, there's no way I'm going to win though, so he won't feel ashamed. Problem solved and sorted. Wow. What am I going to do to this guy? I'm going to have to fireball him. It's the, the only thing I can do. Maybe throw a fireball into his face and summon a raid leader. I wonder. It's going to have to be that, yeah. Fireball his face. Summon a raid leader. Yeah, handle that. that. That's what the raid leader said. Listen to the raid leader, he's awesome. Okay, so this thing is really, really powerful. I need to get rid of it. But let's just attack him for now. Legendary cards. What are we supposed to do against legendaries? We have nothing but commons. We're playing an entirely common deck. There is nothing higher than common in this in this whole thing. I'm telling you right now. So what are you going to do? What your move? What are you going to do? You. It's still alive though. You can't kill it with that. Ah, there we go. Now I see what you're doing. Fair enough. Wow, that is just so powerful. Those legendaries just like, whoa. Absolutely whoa. Okay. Hmm. How am I going to do this? I can deal... Let's go with an arcane missiles. Please kill that thingy. No, not the taunt guy. That one. No. That was just a tragedy. So it's going to have to be Nightblade into killing that with my hero power. That's all I can do at this moment. And if I attack, I'm going to lose my raid leader. So I'm not going to attack. That, that's it. I'm done. So what's what's your move now? This is just so intense. The legendary cards are so intense. Oh my goodness. Oh GG. He's just gonna go straight for my throat. I can't attack now that he's frozen them. I can't I can't do anything with them. So I need to draw something just absolutely incredible. Or I'm finished. And I have nothing incredible to draw, so I'm just finished. Okay, so I, c I can use all nine of my mana. Or... Yeah, let's kill that. And then... Use the rest of the mana to do... This. And I can't attack because they're frozen! Urgh! How can you have so many fantastic cards? I don't believe this. I'm getting just like, I hope I'm at least giving him a little bit of a run for his money, because I hope you like my uh, those legendaries, they were just so amazing. What could I have done against those legendaries, I wonder? Oh, come on! <sighs> Ow. I think I'm dead. I can't, there's nothing I can do. This is so terrible, I can summon these. I guess. I have nothing higher than common, man. This is terrible. Uh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I may as well... Um, everything I have on this field right now could just kill that Senjin guy. And he's going to go... I'm dead next turn. Whatever. I will deal a whole one damage to you. You have got to 18 health and I am on zero. I feel kind of proud of that because you had legendaries, man. You had legendaries. So I feel 
I feel like that wasn't so bad. Come on. I'm sorry. I can't oh my gosh. What is that? Wow. Ouch. Well, I, I feel like I should I should say well played anyway. Um because he, he did play well, even though his cards were just What? I mean a six six that was summoning things that could do things that were just Oh my goodness, wow. Uh, we've leveled up. I wonder what we're going to get out of this. We're now level 12 mage. What do we get? Do we get anything? No. No, we don't. That doesn't seem fair, Hearthstone. That doesn't seem fair at all. We do have a quest to destroy 40 minions. And and that is it for this episode. In the next episode, we're going to go and have a look at the arena where we will build the decks and hopefully not get completely and utterly crushed by legendaries, I tell you, noble viewers. Legendaries. Uh, yeah. I shall see you in future videos. And I said chaps and japasses in the last videos, and I don't wish to repeat myself, so I'm just going to go and say and say goodbye. So goodbye, and I'll see you in the, the next video. Goodbye. I've, I've said it three times now. Should I go for four? No, I think I'll skip it. Cheers.